folks, welcome back to video number two of the Bulletproof Lower Back Series. Uh, today, we're going to go over a common hip flexor stretch. So, something that I would also advise any individual that feels tightness um, or, or in their lower back, or even if they have tight quads, hip flexors, um, this is a phenomenal stretch to do, whether it be at home, whether it be at your desk, whether it be um, if you just get out of a car after a long car ride, a really good way to open up your hips, open up the psoas as we talked about, and then we'll start talking about how the quads play into things, um, and this thing called anterior pelvic tilt, which you may hear often, um, especially from therapists or anyone on their own YouTube channel. So, um, here's what we got today. So, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna be in this kneeling position. So I have my right leg up, up right now, my left leg is down. I'm gonna squeeze the glute of my left leg. I'm gonna squeeze that glute, and I'm gonna push my hips forward just slightly. So if we're talking about yesterday, um, you're gonna really be stretching on this psoas and um, this hip flexor right here. You might even feel this down in your quad, which is a very good thing as well. So. Um, really focus on squeezing this glute. It's going to really make this hip flexor work a good bit. I'm just going to lean forward into this. All right. So you can switch sides, maybe 30 seconds on one, your left, 30 seconds on your right, and move back and forth. Three to five rounds is a good place to start. Um, so that's a really, really good stretch, especially if you have been sitting in a car for a while, like I mentioned, or even in an airport. I've done that myself. Um, getting into our second portion. So anterior pelvic tilt, what happens a lot of times and what this can help relieve is this thing uh, called anterior pelvic tilt and something that we should all be aware of. So if we look at uh, my little diagram I, I got here, I have this guy with his pelvis in place here, um, and as you can see, his pelvis is leaning forward. So meaning he's not really quite balanced like I am, he's more like this, and he has this nice curve in his lumbar spine. Whereas we wanna be more upright like this. We want our pelvis to be in a nice neutral position. Um, when we are lean forward, just like this diagram is, what that means is we have a lot of tightness in our quads and in our hip flexors. So doing the stretch that we did today can really help relieve that. Um, later on in our videos, we'll get into some different release techniques you can use with a so right or a lacrosse ball. But for today, that's a good place to start. So get out there, stretch out those hip flexors, and uh, hope everyone enjoys this one. Thanks.